Well, good morning, fishing freaks. I'm in a state that uh, has a lot of cheese and a lot of smallmouth bass. I just walked down to the water's edge, literally got my rods out of my rod tube, haven't even put my rods and reels on yet. And uh, as you can tell, since it's so early, we're getting ready for a tournament. And um, I know nothing about this lake, really. So don't even leave a comment about what to do, because by the time you watch this, I'll already have won it and it won't even matter. It's foggy up here. I think it's like 180% chance of rain today. So hopefully that stays away. I don't have any rain gear, unfortunately. But this tournament is being put on by Mystery Tackle Box. And uh, there's basically like a bunch of YouTubers up here and a bunch of Mystery Tackle Box employees. They say this lake is like really well known up here. A lot of people come out here and there's a lot of boat traffic and stuff like that. Might be one of the biggest party lakes of the north. Maybe, I don't know. Could get crazy this afternoon. So we don't have that long to fish. We gotta weigh in here at four o'clock and then I gotta get on a plane, head back to Ocean Spoon Girl in Winston. And I'm hoping for some cheese curds, man. I came up here hoping for cheese curds, still haven't gotten any. Maybe that's our prize today for winning. I'm confident, by the way. I'm confident today. I got my Texas rig shirt on up in Wisconsin where they bite like eight pound test drop shots actually eight pound tests would be like way too big they're probably biting like four pound tests i'm just walking across the boat ramp right now just getting in the way of everybody <laughs> eli you want your reel you have a reel eli. i do have a reel you want some line i do need some i need maybe You're a little the same leader. situation as me i'm like hey let's go fishing we got to get some reels on these rods fishing freaks we got to get them on here i just talked to fluke master he said have a drop shot in your hand all day and uh, I gave him the sad face. Hey everybody, everybody, say hi to Joe. And you came up from the Ozarks, right? Yep, Lake of the Ozarks. So oh. we're gonna get on Lake Geneva, we're ready to get after it. Rods are not broken this morning. They came through the flight just fine. The last two times I've brought rods through Chicago airport, broke or lost, something to that effect. We've already overcome the first big hump of the day. The second hump is we need the bean of the coffee because I am struggling right now. I don't know about you. But uh, four hours of sleep last night. Woo! I need the bean. Oh, well, OMG, what up? There's no win today. I'd be wrong if I didn't say me, right? We're about to get, get our boxes and find out what's going on. Ross, I need to talk to you about a coffee. Hey, where's the coffee at? Save get this fish and freak some coffee. <laughs> I'll find it, Ross. Thank you. Ross is a lifesaver. Snap into a Starbucks. Dude, that's worse than my flip flops. That's, <laughs> let us know in the comments what's worse. I think his is worse. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. It's pretty bad. <laughs> this is kind of like a regular fishing tournament, except there's one twist. The way that this tournament works is uh, we're going to give you guys each a box of baits containing baits from past mystery tackle boxes. They got to come from the box. Each boat's going to get three boxes, and um, we're going to weigh in five. All Thanks right. Come out, everyone. Right. Woo. Yeah. See ya. Cool. Okay, we just got our rules. We got our boxes, and it's time to get out on the water and get to going. Now, here's the biggest challenge of the day: beating Perry. The he only knows. one. That, the only one that showed up. What do you think, Joe? Well, We're ready to get after it. it. <sighs> Joe's a straight killer. He's ready. He's ready to get it. And we got Tim down here. You good to go, Tim? Let's rock and roll, boys. Let's do it. Not even sure what we win today, but. We're going for honor. It's a creed among the fishermen. We honor the tournament participation. All righty, let's do it. All right, let's see what we got. We got the pop. Oh, these are all cranks, it looks like. Got yeah, we got armor. some plastics in there. Got oh, hey, oh, hey yeah. we can work with that thing. Got the bio That's what we need right there, I'm feeling. Tim's got some local knowledge. Uh, Joe came from nine hours away in uh, the Ozarks. So, and of course, I have no clue. <laughs> All right, we gotta rig out some drop shots. I did manage to bring my uh, the tackle box that you guys helped me build. Can't use any of the hard bait lures or any of the plastics or anything. We gotta use stuff that's in the box. But I got all my terminal tackle jig heads, all that kind of stuff in here. So it's gonna be important. We're doing some drop shotting today, most likely. Around the corner there is Black Point. Fish that side. There's a ledge that goes out to 18 feet, drops off in the 70s. That side slopes on a 45 degree. Which guy? The crazy, the crazy uh, 
the military dude. Oh, Luckers? Is he as crazy as it is on radio? He's a little crazy, yeah. A little, a little he's got ADH. He's got something going on with him. We're not sure what it is. We're trying to figure it out. We're seeking counseling. Love the show, though. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the yep, information. That's you. awesome. Thanks. Appreciate it. Good luck, you guys. Yes, you too. Good luck. Yep. Just got some really killer information. Good call, Tim. He's a fishing freak, like a real fishing freak. Uh, trolling for lake trout out here today. Yeah. Said that the, the large mouth stay less than 20 and the small mouth are past 20. It's pretty deep. He said to fish all the points, go hard on the grass lines, and then the deeper docks out on the edges and pretty much drop shotting. He said, don't even worry about Texas rig. You ain't gonna get that Texas rig through that grass. Okay, we need a bait. I want that dream shot. If I can catch him in Texas on this, I'm pretty sure I can catch them exactly where they're supposed to be on this thing. Oh, wait, yes we do. We got a drop shot kit. Sweet. Filming a walleye episode about 10 years ago. There he And uh, perch were spawning there. All right. You got him? Oh, I think I'm on your line. Let me get out of your way. I'm trying to get out. Oh. You got a net? Joe's hooked up already. It's a smallie, bro. I think it's a smallie. Joe, yes, bro. Already, yes. we're doing it. Yes, yes, it's a keeper. It's a That's keeper gotta be a 15 guys. incher. It's yeah. gotta be a 15 incher, you know. Wow, we just got out here. Throwing a drop shot. Literally, like first drop. I almost got tangled in your line too. He's 15 oh, inches. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah baby. Oh, no. First drop. Yes. That's the way to do it right there. Hey, maybe that guy steered us in the right direction, huh? Another one on the drop shot. Yep, on that dream shot. I don't know if we'll keep, but we'll see. How's he fight? Is it a smallie or a large mouth? Large mouth. I don't think we'll keep. Be close, huh? Get official with it. 14. There it goes. See ya. Same thing, he was just kind of there as Joe said. It was squishy, I felt a little weight and just sat right into it. First spot turned out to be really good. We got one keeper off of it. I still haven't caught a fish, but I am trying, uh, I'm trying multiple methods here. So now we're going to move to some dock fishing. We're gonna try to take advantage of the, the low light, maybe the fish being shallower, um, the first few hours of the day before they really move out and get on those deeper points and grass slides and stuff like that. So drop shots, jigs, and some moving baits what we're gonna go with right here on these docks. Get that big old bass in the boat. If we catch a three pounder, it's probably 20 years old out here. These fish are so, so old, they grow slow. All you Texas guys, you gotta remember, this thing is ice. This water is hard for many months out of the out of the year. Go! All right, whoa, whoa! We got him on the wacky. Took a flick shake Senko. Right in the grass, he was in that the, yep. the pond, pond weed. Right there in the pond weed, nice Boom. little keeper. Number two. I like that. Let's keep. Let's stay on the shallow game. Put the old stinko back on. You got him. The stinko's doing it, man. It's doing big things. God, that's a short, stubby one. God, he's not even 14, but he's so chunked. Let's give him a sniff. Let's give him a Wisconsin sniff. Smell it. Yeah. I don't know. He smells clean. He smells real clean. That smells grassy as usual. Whoa! Watch him swim away. Into the depth. Woo! Bye. Got him. Tim's on him. Get him, Tim. I got one too. Oh, I lost him. My gosh, you got a rock bass. Dude, I had a good thump there. Look at this thing, guys. This is a rock bass. I think I've caught one of these things in my life. It was on Table Rock. I think he's got a wicked eye, man. Mm -hmm. Got him. Hooked up. It might be a keeper. Pretty good one here, boys. I think this might do it. Light line. Out of my element. No, we lost the Cinco. No. I got him. That's a keeper. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Think so? I think so. Barely hooked the side of the mouth there. Yeah. All right, boys. Let's hope. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just got a Wisconsin largey baby. Yeah. 
going in the live well. All right. Oh, wait a second, guys. Look at this. We can put one of these on. Yeah. You got him. Oh, got him. Tim's hooked up. Timmy. Decent one? I don't know. We'll see. On that Sanko, though, man, that's been the deal. Dude, that is the juice, for sure. He's digging. I don't think he can. Not quite a keeper, I don't think, boys. But he's 14 and a half. Yeah. 14. 14. We're running out of baits. Like, that, that's been the bait. We've already gone through a full pack. So, this is part of the challenge of the boxes. We have to fish what's in the boxes, so. We're out of the key lure right now. We gotta switch it up. We gotta make moves. Make it happen. Adapt and overcome. That's what I say. Three keepers. That's what we got right now. We got a camera. A camera guy in our boat. Oh. Is that the merch man? It's the merch man and the camera guy and the producer. I'm gonna call you Mr. Everything. Mr. Everything. Making the making the sexy videos out here today. Eli has caught his personal best. 10-7 was it? 10-7. 10 7 I think it was 2-7. Two, two oh, 2-7. Oh, okay. All these pleasure boaters are coming out now though. This is gonna change the game. It's gonna be a game changer. All these, make it happen. all these millionaires are coming out of their houses and getting in their big million dollar boats and cruising around. Why would you want to, want to just cruise around in a boat and not fish? So that doesn't make any sense, does it? Have I mean, you ever I done that? My, I have my speculations of what it's about. Wooden boats that have like the American flags on them, that's the ones I always see the attractive girls on. They're not exactly swimming out to get on a bass boat, <laughs> let's be honest. That would be the best. Let me tell you about my friend Matt. It's like Dana, Dana White introducing Conor McGregor. <laughs> the, the Notorious! Hey, oh, hey, oh. Oh my gosh, that's a good one! Oh, oh no! Ow! Dang, dude! Six. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big one. 16 at least. Yeah. Ah! ah! That was a bad That was that a Mondo. Yeah, that, that was, was a Mondo. Hey, just imagine God. that that one's oh, down there. There's more over there. I don't know, I'm just trying to... That was, that was a weak ass hook set, Tim. It was. It was what one of those like... Doing? I was pulling it through the grass. Not and he, sure. And he came and hit it and I just went like that. I've done it a million times. Yeah. I was hoping you didn't see that hook set. They're right out there. It's shallow, these fish are. I got one. Hmm? I got one. Maybe. What do you think here, boys? I don't know. I think he's going to be short. We got no. Oh! Oh! What are we doing? No! Back off this spot a little bit. Back off. They're here. <sighs> I think this one's going to be a little short. We are on a flurry right here. <sighs> yeah, he's 14. I apologize. These Wisconsin bass, they've been eating this cheese and they're real strong. Come on, baby. Be a good one. Looks like a decent one, dude. Oh, yeah. That's a decent fish. Get him, Joe. Get him, baby. This is this. This is it. Yes! Yes! Fling him on in! Yes! Yes! Let's get yes! some, boys. Yes! We got yes! this, man. That's for, for Wisconsin, that's a good bass, baby. Yes! Oh. Let's go, dude. That's, that's my redemption right there. I'm the catch co. What is that? I'm the catch co. Uh, flicker worm. Flicker worm. Got him on the flicker worm. Made up for that last one you had. I know. That was like the same size, I bet. I think so. Hey. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. One more good one and we're... That's what I'm talking about. You know Game the... plan worked out. You know Came the difference that time? I got a good hook set in there. You time. did. I... Oh. God, that was good, guys. That was good. All right, we're back on track. We need one more decent keeper, and we got nothing to be ashamed of when we come in. That's a Wisconsin brood. God, I feel like eating a cheese curd right now. He's a stud. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Nicely done. He just silently just yeah. picks up a sippy cup with a rod and flings it into the boat. Here you go. Got him? Oh! Oh! Good one! Good one! Good one! Good one! Get him! Stay away from the dock. This is a game changer. This is a game changer. This one's gonna do it, guys. This one's gonna do it. Come on. Come on, Tim. 
that kind of sort of motor. Nice fish, nice yeah, fish. It's a smallie. No, it's a big largemouth. Big largemouth. Okay, I gotta stay on the troll motor. Yeah, keep us away from the stock here. There we go. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Get him in the boat. Dude, this is this is a game changer. This is gonna do it. You're making me nervous, Tim. I know. Just watch your line, watch your line. I know, I know, I'm trying to do too many things. There he is. Grab him, grab him, grab him. Game changer! Game changer! That's a Wisconsin special right there, my man. That's a 27 year old bass right there. <laughs> Woohoo! Let me get some jump. Game changer, Tim. Yes. Tim, I take back everything I ever talked back about you today. <laughs> Tim has had the big ones. He just landed the jump. I'm telling you, I was feeling this dock, guys. Like, yeah, it, had the, it had the combination of everything we needed. Yeah! We're crazy, we know. We're fishing freaks, man. Fishing we can't help it. Tim's got another one. Oh yeah, that's a giant, dude. That's a giant, baby. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Dude, that's a giant! That's a giant! Yeah. 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 Let's go! Yeah. Let's go! Boom! Dude, I watched that fish. I saw the fish swimming towards, I saw the fish swimming, and then I just saw my line kick. That was just <laughs> Now we're doing it. Yeah. You just switch over to that dream shot, I babe. I do the dream shot. Yeah. yeah, that's that's what I was started throwing. Windy points. I don't think this one's gonna call, but he's nah, down. No way. We just need to upgrade a little bit. We're figuring out a pattern. You just want to keep it working like right above the grass line, basically. Yeah. That's the key here. My gosh, it's probably the prettiest fish I've ever caught in my life. Freshwater. Yeah. Look at that. You say that's a pumpkin seed? Yeah. Look how gorgeous that fish is. Got him on the dock. I don't think he's gonna help anybody today. It means we got we got a sack going. A Geneva sack. Sounds like we've got the W locked in. Like we really don't need to fish anymore, so we're going gonna go in a little bit early. Maybe trash talk a little bit at the dock. That's always fun. I'm proud of these guys right here. Tim and Joe, and I, I threw in some really good positivity and a keeper into the mix as well, and I'm proud as a Texan to say I contributed to this sack. But I'm gonna go ahead and say, guys, I think this might be a W. I think you're right. I think so also. And I don't think any of this could have been done without the high energy and high spirit of Lake Fort guy over here. And the good news is you guys are probably going to win some, some free uh, MTB subscriptions out of this. So root us on. Hope we have the winning sack and we'll see you at the way. Quick rundown for you guys regardless if we get the W or not. This was the key, the flick shake. Uh, Joe threw it out there shallow early on. We were fishing out deep, and then we went up there shallow just for a minute. Threw that out there, got a bite immediately, set the tone for the rest of the day. Like shallow fishing with the flick shakes. I threw a shaky head a little bit as well, like a really light shaky head. But that um, 1 8 ounce flick shake head, a little plasma tail worm on it, or the, uh, or the Cinco worm, or the uh, flicker worm that we had, didn't really matter. Just a green colored worm. That was killing it. Okay, it's time to start putting some fish in that bin, boys. Nobody sounds too excited. Yeah. All right, should I trade this water? We figured it out. With these bad boys. Woo! We got the first bag coming up right here, right now. So wait. Here we go. All right, where's uh? Right now we're at zero point zero one. Are we counting that water weight? We're counting that water weight. Okay. Yeah, oh. the water's in play. Nine point two. Not bad. Right, drop shots, go. you said? <laughs> drop shot, drop shot, <laughs> Forget that. Forget that drop shot, guys. You don't need that drop shot. Right, Get out of here. One.
That's the toad belly hog snatcher winner right there. Look the eye on that one. I know, he's got a blind eye. That, that played out to our advantage today. Couldn't see as good. I said 11 and a half. I think we might break 12. Might be better than that. 14. 14. 14, 3, 2. Ready for the tour. Ready for the tour. Oh, yeah. No, I think they're Strong. That's a nice fit. Yeah. Nice, nice job. job. There, guys. Nice job. Picture time. Love it. We're the subscriber champs. What? What's the big prize? Where's the confetti? You won a 12-month pro sub to give away to your subscribers. Woo! <laughs> Hear that, fishing freaks? The dub. The dub is for you guys. Thank you, Eli. Okay, the W has been achieved thanks to the winning team. Pound it, boys. Right. Pound it. Right. We started catching some shallow on the wacky rig, on the flick shake, and that was really the killer thing. We went through all the worms. So, good job, Joe. Good job. Figuring out the pattern. Now, Tim here. Tim caught the kickers. I was making fun of him a little bit because he had a weak hook set on one of those fish, and I was like, man, that could have been the tournament winner. Yep. Comes back and crushes it. Catches one of the biggest bass. That, that was the biggest bass of the day, right? Yep, yep, just under four pounds. Just under four pounds. That's a giant up here. That's like, what, a 12, 15 year old fish? Like, no kidding. <laughs> it probably is. Legitimate. Yeah. Tim's an awesome guy. You thank should, you, thank you, you should subscribe to Tim's life. He doesn't, right. he, doesn't, he doesn't have a channel yet, but you should subscribe to his life. And Joe has a channel too. Links down in the description for you guys. And I want you guys to leave a comment because one of you guys is gonna win a 12 month subscription to Mystery Tackle Box because we brought the W to That's you today. Right. That's, That's right. right. So if any of you guys want to subscribe to Mystery Tackle Box, get these cool cats sending you boxes all the time, you can sign up. You can use my code, LFG. Link down in the description, you can get $10 off your first box. Thank you guys for tuning in to the awesome action today. It is time to get back to Texas. First, I gotta go eat a cheese curd before I head home to Ocean Spoon Girl in Winston, just to say I did. Gotten the W up here in the big W. Get the cheese curd. It's a full Wisconsin experience, baby. We'll see you guys on the next one. Later. Finally got the curd. Have me a steamy curd. Mm. Tastes like fried cheese.